well i hope you've had a good day so far uh i've got a few new subscribers lately so welcome to my channel if you're new uh, my name is hutch and i like to play the Timbers 4 as you might be able to tell uh, and i post videos twice a week so i recently made this modern home because i've been wanting to play with eco lifestyle and snowy escape for a while those are like my two favorite build packs well not build packs but packs for building with like the build items and stuff um so yeah, I do like making stuff using them. So like I said, it's built using Snowy Escape, uh, Eco Lifestyle, and I used Moschino stuff, as you can probably tell by the title of the video. It's for, uh, it's a home for a photographer or a photographer's home. It's built on a 30 by 20 lot and I decided to build it in Mount Komarebi. I know that I probably say that wrong, but that's my accent. Um, and it has one bedroom, a large kitchen and diner and living space and... A home photography studio. I also made a household for the screenshots. You'll be able to download them from the gallery. I put them on the gallery as well. Um, but I've not played with the fashion photographer career for like the longest time. Uh, since it came out in fact, um, which was ages ago now. I don't even know how long ago it was. But I was playing on console when I had that pack uh, and when it came out. So I made like quite a similar couple really. I made a same sex couple that were one was like the photographer and the other one did something else. Also, sorry if you can hear like birds. For some reason, they've just started like chirping and stuff. Um, I have my window shut, but sometimes they get a bit loud. Anyway, um, yeah. So back when Moschino stuff came out, I had like a household and I was playing with the fashion photographer career. Um, but that was, like I said, it, I was on console and that was back when... Um, console players didn't have the gallery so if you wanted to like download a build or use a build made by like say one of your favorite creators or something you had to build it yourself so that's what I did I built I rebuilt one by Deligracy I think it was a small photographer's house I'll, I'll try and link that in the description actually maybe if I can if I remember to do that but yeah um so I guess I just tried to kind of like recreate that or that's where the idea came from anyway so yeah, obviously, if you download this house and you don't want the photography studio, I'd recommend, like, turning it into a bedroom. Um, it's a decent size, you'll see when I get to that bit later. I've played with it a little bit, like, since making this house and the household to go with it. Obviously, you don't have to have them together. Like, you can download the family or you can just have the house and have your own sims in it or do whatever you want. But, um to like play test the build and stuff and make sure that it's uh usable and functional i've played around with like the photography studio and stuff and yeah back when i played with the photography career the fashion photographer career that came with the moschino stuff pack back then it was like really buggy and because it's like a freelancer career you would like sign up for gigs so you'd have like a client and you'd do a gig and they would ask for like right take a photo of sim in formal wear or something like that or hot weather wear or whatever it was and you'd take the photo and then you'd have to send it off to the client to be like review to see if it was what they asked for and they would never like get back to you they would never say yep yeah, that's good or no that's bad or whatever so you'd send it off also I'm going to apologize for the computer fan it's started up again because I've got two things going on and it's needs to cool down for some reason but yeah um there were a lot of issues with the pack back then so I don't know if those have fixed I mean that was when it first came out and I mean if you play The Sims 4 you'll know that sometimes there's bugs in the game that are there like forever there's still stuff that's wrong with the game from when it launched in like base games so I don't know if they fixed that since like I said because it was quite a while ago but I really like um, the jobs in the game where you can like work from home or where you actually do stuff yourself. Thinking of like get to work, I don't really like care about actually going to work. Um, it, it, it's it's all right, but like at least with that this sort of career, you can kind of do it on your own terms and stuff like that. And and even with like the careers where you can have, uh, you know, when you get like a notification and it's like, does the same want to go into work, work from work from home, or like. 
PTO or whatever it says and you can pick work from home I like those kind of careers because it like rather than sending your same into like a rabbit hole where they just go to work for eight hours and then come back at the end of the day um yeah I really enjoy doing those kind of jobs um by the way I actually planned on posting this video yesterday because it was edited and ready to go up but I didn't get a chance to like do the voiceover well I did have chance I did have like time but I wasn't in like the right mind frame to do it um so I have like weekly counseling and I'm pretty open about it kind of like saying that I go there is is a big thing or have it should I say I don't really go anywhere because of the situation you know so um yeah I know not everyone likes sharing that sort of information and you know that's completely fine but I'm all about like destigmatizing mental health issues and kind of making these sorts of conversations like normal and accepting that people go through shit in their life and that's okay and it's okay to talk about if they choose to. Uh, I'm not going to say why I go because it is like obviously really personal and the topic is like quite triggering um, and I mean that in the literal sense like it can trigger a trauma response. So yeah anyway I have that like once a week and I don't, I don't know I just feel like I'm assuming it's because I'm autistic because this kind of does relate to how I process things like information and emotions and conversations with other people. Um, I guess it'll be a bunch of things rolled into one, like the topic as well as being autistic and then whatever. But I find that I really have to prepare for it, like especially like on the day I really do take time to just kind of think about what I want to say and make a note of anything that's like bothered me in that week because that's what I get asked like how have you been this week and sometimes I'm a bit like um I don't know I don't remember even though I do it's just I've not really prepared to say it so yeah I have to kind of like prepare for that um and and not only because it's a conversation that has a whole new set of rules as well so like I'll be social masking anyway because I do that automatically with me being autistic and like I said it's it's a big like topic I guess so I'm basically preparing to have like an unpleasant conversation about how I feel so I need to like mentally prepare for that now I know most people understand that it's not like I have to stick to a strict schedule like uploading videos and stuff um it's it's a hobby that I want to enjoy I don't want to be putting a ton of pressure on myself to like right I need to do this many videos a week and I have to upload on this day and this day and I have to do it and if I'm not uploading I need to be working on new videos and new pictures or whatever it is and I I don't look at it like that I do it for fun so I don't see it that way but (laughs) I do have this like internal battle where I know I need to prepare for counselling but I also really want to record and I don't want to burn myself out because recording takes concentration like doing the voiceover and stuff so I had to sort of say to myself it can wait you can do it tomorrow but then I was like but what if I'm too drained tomorrow because like recovering from the conversations afterwards so yeah it was a lot um and also with making videos is kind of like becoming a special interest so it's like something I really want to do all the time I want to always be doing it so it's a bit like (laughs) it's like finding that balance in between taking care of myself and also doing stuff that I enjoy that can also still be quite draining to do but I have to say as well um and I don't know if anybody else has counselling or therapy or, you know, whatever. By the way, you don't have to share if you do or if you do have that. Um, I totally respect everyone's right to keep that to themselves. But I didn't realise just how drained it makes you feel. I felt a bit, like, hungover, like, right after. And, you know, the person that I speak to, they say, you know, after make sure that you have space to just kind of calm down and don't really do anything or do something that makes you feel good but that's not too intense, like you know, don't go for a run, but also don't just do absolutely nothing, like, do what's best for you. Um, I did feel, like, hungover or something, or, like, I'd not slept for a full day, and because I'm autistic and have ADHD, my executive functioning was just like, nope, I'm off, good luck, but I'm having a rest and all, so good luck to you, love, see you later. So, yeah, that was, that was the day, it was pretty much, it was pretty intense, it was a bit, like, all over the place, so yeah, as much as I wanted to record, I was just like, ugh, I, I can't really do that. I need to, like, actually take care of myself as much as I wanted to record. So I feel like I've recovered a bit now and I'm feeling a bit, like, okay, just kind of normal, um, which is good. I still feel a bit, like, drained and my head doesn't feel like it's screwed on me. Um, but I thought, for, like, the voiceover, if I just talk about this a little bit and see where it takes me, then it's not too much, like, thinking and processing and 
thinking that, all right, what do I say about this or whatever? Um, Because it's already fresh in my mind. But I am going to talk about the build as well, which I'm going to do now because I've rambled on enough. So for the interior, um, for doing like the kitchen and stuff, I did want to kind of keep it uh, open plan and that. When I was doing the floor plan for the house, I was a bit like, I didn't really know where to start because I knew I wanted the area to like the the right of the builds so that that big room with most of the windows I wanted that to be the living room and I wanted to do this like sunken living room type thing and where the stairs are is kind of really the only place they could have gone so yeah I just wanted to kind of sorry my voice my voice broke then um <laughs> it's not like I'm going through puberty or something but yeah um for the kitchen I wanted to keep it like a bit open plan and yeah just kind of have a lot of space but also I didn't want it to look too blank because I don't know I like filling my builds up with stuff I don't like having a lot of space where there's like nothing um but I think I did all right with it I did like that little sitting area thing just because I thought you know why not I guess you could just have a little sitting area in your kitchen dining room sort of thing sorry I don't know what's wrong with my voice I think it's just because I'm not used to I've done a lot of talking yesterday and then I'm talking again today but yeah for the bedroom which I'm doing now um I knew that I wanted to kind of, well, while I was building it, I kind of thought maybe this would have a lot of photos in it, but I just decided to go with like just regular artwork and stuff. Um, because because it's like a photographer's home, I thought about maybe uh, while I was playtesting, maybe getting the Sims to go out into the world and just take photos of uh, things. But I, I didn't really like have time to do that. I think what I'm going to do is get... I've got a sim that's like max photography skill. I know it's like level five or whatever, but um, I, yeah, I've got a sim that's got uh, max photography skill. And I've thought about maybe going out into um, just like the worlds and stuff and taking photos of the worlds and then just having them as a room. And then if I ever want to have pictures of my own to like put in builds that could be of anything, like pictures of Willow Creek or whatever world that I build it in maybe or whatever world is relevant to like the packs that I built with maybe doing like that um obviously that just take a bit of time and I'm sure there'll be people that have done that on the gallery and stuff but um I don't know I just figured I might do that because it's a lot easier to pull from like say if I save it as a room if I just have a ton of photos um and I just have it on like in my library where I can just pull a room place it and then get the photos that I need it'll save me a lot of time um, I do like to put detail in my builds uh, and put, a, you know, extra touches in there to make it a little bit, um, I don't know, I feel like realistic, lived in, whatever. Um, so yeah, I might even do that at some point. Yeah, I think I will, probably do it over the weekend or something because it's one of those things that like, I always think about it when I'm building but then I never actually got my way to do it and I'll think, oh, I, should, I wish I'd have done that when I've had a chance. Uh, I think about it with like artwork as well. I've got uh figure paintings that your sims can make uh, as a room and i've got the wood sculptures the like wood carvings from the woodworking uh, skill i've got those that i can just pull them out instead of going into debug mode all the time and finding them i've got ones that have actually been made by sims um and i know like i said there's people that have got it on the gallery where you've got like the paintings and stuff from the painting skill um but yeah i just i don't know i just rather do it myself <laughs> i don't know why um I guess just because it's easier because then I don't always have to put remember to like put credit in the description like oh yeah I got these paintings from this person or whatever which I don't mind doing but it's like remembering to do it um which you know get ADHD so I'm probably gonna forget so yeah for the bedroom like I was saying what was I saying I don't know what I was saying but I did that like little wardrobe area sort of made it look like built-in wardrobes it's not actually functional the it's just for aesthetics and stuff um I think you, there is a way to get it functional. I think maybe I should have put dressers on the bottom instead of just the decorative cupboards and stuff. But there's another dresser somewhere else if your sims want to use that. Obviously, you don't even really use them to get dressed. Your sims can just stand in front of it. You could click on your sim to like change that way. Or you can just change wherever you want and change your outfit and stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to do this like built-in closet thing just to kind of fill up that back wall. And it's a pretty big bedroom, so I thought, well, why not? Um, and then I did all the bathrooms off camera like I normally do. Uh, I also wanted to keep the, you know, in like Mount Comerabi, they have uh, toilets separate. Well, you might not know, but they do. Um, and it's kind of taken from 
uh, in Japanese culture, they tend to keep toilets separate from their, like, showers and baths and, and whatever else. It's like a separate bit. So I've tried to do that. I'm pretty sure I did it for every bathroom. I think there's only two bathrooms in this build, but um, for both of them, I kept them separate. And like I said, it's all been play tested, so everything should be working just fine. Um, and then again, that mirror thing with the uh, picture frame, I saw that on Instagram ages ago and I'm going to try and find where I got the idea from. Um, I'm, I can't remember where I got it from. I think I might have saved it. I'll double check on my saved post on Instagram, but I saw somebody do it, but I think I saw it on my personal account and I don't think I, I saved it. I'm not sure. I think I just saw it and then it's just like, say, it's kept in my head. Um, but yeah, I'll try and find where I saw that. I don't know if they came up with it or what, but um, yeah, I'll try and credit where I can. But it's not. it wasn't my idea, I'll say that. If I can't find credit, um, yeah, it wasn't my idea that uh, uh, putting the mirror there to make it look like a big framed mirror sort of thing. Um, and then for the photography room um, or photography studio, th this was a bit like, what can, how do I say this? Like, I didn't really know what to put in it. Other than like obviously the photography stuff, like that big uh, backdrop and that. I don't know, now I'm looking at it back, I might even add more lights into it because it's not a very bright room. And I, I, obviously because I play tested it, I saw how the photos look and that and they don't come out very bright. Um, so maybe I ought to put some, I think I probably will. Before I post it to the gallery, I'll probably just add more lights in there to like brighten it up a bit. But yeah, I just kind of wanted it to just look like an office and somewhere where you know, people would go and have the photos took or, you know, relevant to the career that came with that Moschino stuff pack. So those like crafted things, I've built something with a eco lifestyle before and I didn't realise that there was that much like fabricated furniture in that. So um, I really like using them, but you've got to like go in the debug menu to get them. So, or you, well, you activate a cheat to show hidden objects. Um, so it's just bb dot show hidden objects and then is it on I think it's you put on on the end I'm not sure either way um that's how I found that the fabricated stuff same with the couch I think that's a fabricated one and the uh armchairs that I use uh, but yeah for photography studio um I just wanted to keep it quite simple I didn't want like a ton of clutter I wanted it to be quite usable um and like I said it's all functional and stuff so should be no problems there um and then for the living room like I said I wanted this like sunken living room um I never really do this I don't know why I'd, I I feel like I'd never get it to look good I, I just feel like it always looks like it's obvious like it's obvious that I tried to make something different and it never looks right um I think it's just because I don't really see that many sunken like areas of houses I've never really seen one in real life um where it's just like in the middle of the room there's this like sunken space but I do see pictures of it and I think it looks really good so I wanted to utilize that um and just to kind of use up the space in a way that made sense because this room's just one big like box it's just like a big rectangle and there isn't really any like blank walls that make sense to have you know like where you put your tv because I don't know if anybody else does this but like in like a living room I always kind of point all the furniture towards the TV or towards a fireplace or towards something like where you would sit together and do whatever um, with your family or with whoever you live with and stuff and you kind of have this like central thing in the living room and when I say central I just mean like I don't think I mean central I think I mean more like centered towards so things are kind of facing it um, but yeah I don't know I think I think it turned out well I think it looks all right in the end um, but I was a bit like dubious when I was first building it, a bit like, you know, I don't think this is going to look right. Um, but I liked the the finished look of it because it was like, this is the like main living space and then you have stuff around the outside and all of the space is kind of used with like purpose and not just like chuck stuff down for the sake of it. I do do like a plant thing, like a plant shelf, but I don't know. I feel like lately I do that in every single build just because I really like plants and I think they look good. I think it's a nice way of you know, adding something to the, you know, the build or to the house or whatever it is. Um, and then them sort of like wall plant things that I put up, I just think they added a little bit more to the room, made it look a little bit more interesting. And 
you know, it's a photographer's home, so they'd be quite a creative person, maybe have, like, a good eye for detail and want to add, like, extra things. And it's quite a big house, so they'd have a bit of money. And I always think if you've got money, you would just have these extra things in your house for some reason. Like, I feel like if... Whenever I think about, like, what rich people have as a house, they always have, like, these, like... How many times I'm going to say, like... They always have just extra things that you think, what's the point in that? But it's like, well, what else are you going to do with your money? So, I don't know. I'm generalising there. I shouldn't really speak for rich people because I'm not... Because <laughs> I'm not a rich person. But do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like if you had the money to do it, you would. So, why not? And, yeah, for the uh, kitchen, I will say this as well. I wasn't really, like, sure, like, the layout. I didn't want to just put a kitchen in the corner and just have it, like, look like I just, like, put it there because that was the best wall. But I don't know. Let me know what you think to the kitchen. and Because it's kind of, like, basic. I didn't really do anything extra um, with it. Because it's, when, I, when I'm, like, building with big houses, I will be honest with you, sometimes I get a little bit bored or I run out of, like, creativity where I'm a bit like, now what? Like, I'm, I'm not really sure what else to put down or... I don't want to just like build for the sake of it and stuff um but yeah let me know what you think to the kitchen part of me were thinking maybe it's just a bit too plain but I don't know I'm, I'm fairly happy with how it turned out but I just I don't know I don't know why I feel the need to like make things so extra and stuff or try and put in a ton of detail in every single room I don't really need to do that but yeah and then for the landscaping uh, I just wanted it to look quite um I always want to say manicured and I don't know where I even get that from because I don't really, I guess polished. No, I don't mean polished. I mean like, I don't know, like it's done on purpose. It's like put there by a professional or something, like tidied up and it, you've not just got random plants everywhere. It's it's kind of looks like it's been done with purpose, I guess. I always want to say manicured and I don't think that's the right term. But yeah, I just kind of wanted it to look neat and tidy um the house that's here before I built it uh it was built by one of the game changers and I'm sorry I don't remember which one um but yeah it looked kind of the landscaping for that was quite the sort of same sort of thing like quite neat and tidy and stuff like that and I didn't want it to look like overgrown and kind of natural looking there's kind of really like two main styles I have with landscaping and one's to look really um I don't know what is the word for if plants and stuff are like organized I'm gonna have to like look this up and instead of rambling on about how I don't know how to describe it all the time like every video I talk about neat landscaping and I'm just like what do you call it <laughs> but yeah I wanted to just kind of keep that sort of thing the same because the house is quite um it's not quite a lot to look at isn't it like well I think it is anyway where there's like a lot of like wood pattern going on it's quite a big house so I didn't want to add too much landscaping and I did it last just because I don't know really now I'm gonna do the landscaping first I'll build the house and then I'll do the landscaping around it but this time I were a bit like no I'm I'll do it last I think it's just because I was a bit eager to get working on the inside because I was getting ideas as I was building and I like to execute the ideas as soon as they come into my head so I don't forget um so yeah I think that's probably why it was part of the reason why as well and I really like using those um, like bamboo things just because I feel like they never look right in any of the builds but I think they look really good so I always use them when I'm building in Mount Comorabi and sorry again my voice is breaking I don't know what's the matter with me maybe I need to have a drink of water or, some, or something um, I've also like just had a coffee before I started uh, recording so that's not going to help with my speech and it'll be all over the place so I apologise for that but yeah uh, landscape I wanted to keep it quite simple I cut a bit out of it like round the back just because it's rinse and repeat and I did want this kind of nice path going around the outside and I also put down those uh, fabricated bikes I guess they are yeah the bikes um just because I think they look really nice to kind of have on the outside of the building stuff um so yeah I put them down in a little bit as well and I think for the like decking area I just wanted it to keep it quite like simple um I didn't really like know what to put down I think sometimes I get like that when I'm doing a build I'll it depends how long it takes me but this one took me quite a while it took me about altogether I want to say maybe about five hours to build um 
which I know some people are like, wow, is that all? And others are like, oh, wow, that's ages. Sometimes I've had people like DM me on Instagram and stuff and they'll be like, can I just ask you how long does it take you to to build like that house and stuff? And I'm like, oh, it took me about two hours or it took me about six hours and they're like really shocked. And then I know that there's some other uh, simmers that will make something in an hour and, and, you know, it's done and that sort of thing. Um, But yeah, I think when it comes to like near the end of a build, I'm a bit like, right, I'm running out of ideas now or I'm getting a little bit tired or whatever it is. Um, And yeah, uh, I actually built this in like two days, like a few hours at a time. And because the last part of it was built yesterday, I think because my head was a bit just like preparing and all over the place sort of thing, I was just a bit like, right, we'll just put a bar down, we'll put some benches down. It doesn't have to be over the top and have loads of stuff and loads of detail and that on the outside. I wanted it to be quite like tailored. Maybe that's the right term instead of manicure to say tailored instead. No idea. But either way, I use the words that I use. It's fine. So yeah, um, I think I'm just going to end the voiceover here. I don't really have anything else to add. I'm trying to think if I've covered everything. I think I have. I think. Oh, the sunroof. There's a sunroof in the photographer's studio. Don't know why I added it. I don't know if I really like the look of it. I think it looks a bit odd. I don't know. Um, but I think I just wanted to let more light into that room because it is a photography studio. So you'd want, you know, as much light as possible. But it were a bit like, I don't know, just, it just looks a bit weird. It looks like a weird shape and stuff. So if you want to change that in your own game, I won't blame you. I, I don't know how I feel about it. I think it's just because it's just like a bit of an odd shape. Um, I built that ages ago, so you'll have seen that in the beginning of the video. But yeah, I'm going to end the voiceover here and leave you with some screenshots. Uh, if you'd like to download this build, it'll be on the gallery under my Origin ID Sims Hutch. Uh, I'll link that in the description as well, as, along with my Instagram if you want to follow me on there as well, where I post like pictures of my builds and stuff. And also do like polls on there as well if you ever want to like participate in helping me build something else. So yeah, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Uh, consider subscribing if you'd like to. And yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.